We're back again with another edition of BDN. I'm Olivia. And I'm Scott. That's not right. No. I'm Mr. Walters. And I'm Olivia. Seniors, there are new scholarships available to just Wilson County graduates available through the Wilson County Chamber of Commerce. Deadlines are April 18th. Please see guidance for more info. Even though today is National Pet Day, we will have to wait until tomorrow to show pictures due to the overwhelming amount of adorable animal pictures. Oh, me again. Yeah. The musical Guys and Dolls is next weekend, April 19th, 20th, and 21st at 7 p.m. and April 22nd at 2 p.m. Tickets are $8 for students and $10 for adults. Get your student tickets at the bank ahead of time. The bank is also still selling Lebanon United shirts, baseball tees for $25, and gray t-shirts for $20. Now let's go to Miss Bunch with our special guest. Hi, today we are really excited to have Mayor Hutto of Wilson County with us today at our uh, biotech lab. He wanted to come by and check out our new lab and see what my students were doing. As you know, Lebanon High School is the first school in the state of Tennessee to have a full biotechnology program for high school. And we are very, very proud of that. Um, Mayor Hutto met with my fourth year students today to discuss with them what they're doing on their research project and also to look around the lab and watch them as they were engaged in their research. If you don't know much about biotechnology, biotechnology is a huge field that really touches all of our lives. Everything from pharmaceuticals to um, environmental aspects producing more energy efficient fuel to possibly genetic engineering, um, a new breed of corn to be more drought resistant. It's a huge field and it's a growing field. We estimate 22,000 new biotech jobs in the next couple of years just here in Tennessee alone. In the state there are over 500 life science companies and they all need workers. And they need workers with a high school diploma, they need workers with a college education, and then they need workers with graduate degrees. I was just talking to a person from the TBI last week about a lab tech position that they had available. A student who has just graduated high school that has the experience from my biotech program would start out as a lab tech starting out at $52,000. $52,000 is a very good salary for a high school senior with no college experience at all. If you're looking to sign out of school early, which you should never really do, remember that we are not able to accept email requests or phone calls for students to be dismissed from school. However, you can bring a note into the office before 8.30 a.m. You can also request an early dismissal through the attendance tab under Parent Access in Skyward. Or, someone on the contact list must come physically sign the student out through the front office and make sure you bring proper identification. Reminder to FFA members, officer applications and alumni scholarship applications are due by April 19th. Senior FFA members, make sure you stop by Ms. Major's room this week for important information. The annual FFA banquet will be held on Tuesday, May 8th. FFA members who plan to attend should RSVP to an advisor. Yearbooks are still on sale, but in limited supply. Be sure to come by A303, which is Ms. Peterson's room, or see any yearbook staff member to order. Books are $85, but there is a payment plan available. Yearbook and Blue Devil News are currently recruiting students to join the yearbook staff next year. Learn real-world skills and make a lasting memory during the school year. Come by A303 to pick up an application. His audition is going pretty well. Well, yes. Uh, we will have our 17th Annual County Championship for track this Thursday at home. It will start at 3.30. We would love to have a huge group there, so show some school spirit and support your Blue Devils. Speaking of school spirit, get your pom-poms ready because cheer trials begin today and will last until Friday. Pick up a packet and B203. And dance tryouts are coming up as well. Work on your best moves. Auditions will be on May 3rd and 4th. If you're interested, come see Mrs. Cross in A701 for information and a tryout packet. National Honor Society is hosting a teacher closet one Friday of each month. 
Please stop by room C202 this Friday to pick up materials for your classroom. Materials include dry erase markers, cleaning supplies, paper, post-its, candy, and much more. Candy is a necessary teacher's, teacher's supply. Yes. It's rugby time. The Blue Devil Rugby Football Club will play their first home game of the season against Ravenwood this Thursday at 7 p.m. All home games are played at Walter J. Baird Middle School's football field. Admission is free, and so come out and support your Blue Devils. Have you ever seen a rugby match before? 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 No. Me neither. In addition to holding class elections on Friday, the election commission will be registering voters. I know most of us don't really feel like adults, but hey. This is a step in the right direction. You don't act like them either. This is a great time to register as we're <laughs> about to have. Oh, this is a great time to register as we're about to have the gubernatorial and senate votes in November. That needs to be an ACT word of the day. Um, Although our soccer team was defeated by Laverne last night 2-0, to zero, our Lady Devils softball team came out victorious against Hendersonville 16-13. to 13. The Lady Devils had 15 hits, including a home run from sophomore Bailey Laster. The team now has a record of 13-8 and eight and is 5-0 and oh in the district. Thursday, they travel to Wilson Central for a JV game at 4.30 with varsity beginning at 6. That's it for today. Uh, today's, that's it for today's news. I'm Principal Walter. I'm Principal Walter. I'm Principal Walter. And I'm Vice Principal Olivia. This has been news to you from the White and Blue. We're back again with another edition of. I can't take my eyes off of you. You've been so phenomenally. Come on, 